Hey losers and gentle losers, my name is Jipping Popsicle and today we are going to be doing one of my first serious videos in a very long time. And that is because we are going to be talking about the contents of these three containers, which has been a big part of my life for the past week, probably, and hopefully will be for the next, like, pretty long time, because I am now keeping isopods. So, first of all, many of you are probably asking, what is an isopod? So, an isopod... Um, also known as roly polies, wood lice, uh, sow bugs. Um, they're small crustaceans that are terrestrial, so they live on land, right? And I have three species here Priscilla lavis, Priscilla prunosus, and um, Armadillidium vulgare. Um, I'm going to show you each of them. Uh, we're going to go over my spare materials, um, what I do, what that is for. Um, and it's going to be great. Um, I'm going to try to make this a weekly series where I just go over what's going on. The vi this video is going to be a little bit longer, but they're going to get shorter over time, probably. So let's just jump right into it. So this is my first species. This species is called Armadillidium vulgare. Um, the morph, or like color pattern, is wild type. I call these my locals because I collected them really close to my house. Um, I have this really nice big piece of cork bark flat in here, which they seem to really enjoy. Um, so let's take a look under this. There's one right there. You can see him. It's a pretty um, blandish gray color, I'd say. Um, it's not super active, um, but they're pretty big. And it's their real appeal is that I was able to collect these really close to my house. Um, which kind of gives them kind of a special feeling. Um, these guys really like hanging out in the moss in their enclosure, but this guy was on the cork bark, so he's the one that I filmed. So for species number two, I have the um, highly variable and very fast um, Priscillianidae Pyrenosis Powder Orange. So this, I've heard, is a great beginner isopod. Let's see these guys. There's one right there, that darted under there. Like I said, these guys are super fast, so it's even difficult to get the um, camera to be able to focus on them for long enough without them running away. Um, these guys are sow bugs, so instead of rolling up into a ball, they kind of just like um, run away instead, or they play dead. Um, I haven't actually observed that behavior myself, but I've seen, I've heard and seen of that happening uh, with in videos and of other people talking about their ice spots. So, Priscillianidae Pronosis Powder Orange, beautiful orange color. Let's see if I can get an up-close shot of one. There's one right there. He's kind of got his head buried in a crack, but there's a good example. That one's pretty big. Um, most of the ones that I got in this uh, tub were actually pretty small, like juvenile size. They're probably sexually mature, but definitely not um, full size yet. Uh, so this guy right here, um, or gal, is uh, kind of chillaxing on the cork bark right now. Um, usually they are very fast and very orange, which I think they're very beautiful ice pods. All right, so I definitely saved the best for last. This is my final species and by far my favorite, my Porcelio Levis dairy cows. So these guys really like congregating on this piece of bark. So let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at those guys. They're so pretty. They've got that beautiful dairy cow marking, uh, white on black, like a cow. And they really love congregating. They like gathering in huge groups, which is good because that means that they breed faster. Because um, they run into ice pods quicker. These ones are so beautiful, and they're very large um, for just ice pods that I'm just starting out in. These guys, they've been very fun to watch. Um, these guys are sow bugs, just like the um, powder oranges, but these guys aren't quite as fast, and they're a lot less camera shy, so I can actually film these guys without them trying to run off the piece of bark that I'm looking at. Definitely love these guys, big fan of this particular type of isopod. This is another great beginner isopod, I've been told, so I love these guys, pretty awesome. So those are my three types of isopods that I'm keeping currently. I hope to expand in the future. I've got all of these shelves that I've set aside for isopods and maybe some other invertebrates um, or uh, fish life and stuff like that. Um, mainly it's going to be isopods though because these creatures are just beautiful and I've already fallen in love with them even though I've really only had them for a week. Um, 
So let's talk about this now. Um, this is my springtail master culture. My springtails have not yet arrived, but um, I'll do a video on that when they do show up. This is just um, some bonfire coals um, that I've rinsed off um, in hot water and then put in an oven at 350 degrees. Um, bonfire coals supposedly work really good for this. Um, I collected a lot of them from an area where there was a wildfire near my house a while ago. Um, I got this big bag of um, uh, coals that I'm going to be using. Very beautiful uh, stuff, actually. Charcoal. I think it's uh, I think it's very pretty. I think it smells very nice. Um, I like it a lot. Um, for my, uh, I have a lot of spare materials over here. Um, this goes to a very large enclosure that I'm thinking of putting, um, desert darkling beetles in, once I save up enough money for that. Um, I have some moss in here, but it's probably all dead by now. Yeah, that moss is looking, well, it doesn't look dead yet, but it's gonna be dying out soon. I was going to set up a moss propagation container, and I definitely will in the future, um, because these guys need their moss, and... I'm going to make some eventually. Right now I just have some store kind over here, but um, I'm going to probably get my own. Can't do it yet because I do not have the proper enclosure. I have these three Starlight tubs. Um, at least two of them are going to be used to house my next two species of ice pod, which are not arriving anytime soon or even like scheduled to be purchased anytime soon. The other one might be used either as an isopod breeding project or for ivory millipedes, one of the two. Um, but yeah, all of these are gonna hold something at some point. Um, I have distilled water, of course, spray bottle. Um, this is just coconut fiber, spare leaves, and chiffon fabric. Uh, the chiffon covers up right here um, so that uh, fungus gnats can't get in, but the isopods can't get out. Um, this is my isopod, like, journal. Keep track of all my stuff related to them in here. Um, and currently, as of right now, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, I'm waiting for some breeding to occur so that I can, like, start growing these, in, these, um, colonies. Get some more of them in there. Um, and then I'm probably, I might do a giveaway to one of my friends of these isopods. I don't know. Um... I have enough spare stuff to set up another enclosure, so if you watch the videos and you enjoy isopods, then I could send you some if I know you personally, so then that'd be kind of awesome if you could get some isopods. Um, this is my isopod care board. Not a lot of interest up there. Um, but yeah, that is basically my isopod setup as of right now, the isopod species I have, that kind of stuff. Um, this is probably going to become a weekly series. Um, if you do enjoy seeing the isopods, um, just tell me that you do, I guess, because that'd be nice. If you don't enjoy seeing the isopods, don't tell me. I don't care. All right. Bye, losers.